and welcome to the July edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Caitlin Schindler. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we're going to be doing an experiment on levitation. Ooh, Very awesome. cool. All right. I'm going to tell you what we need for this experiment. Remember, you can find all of the details on our website at www.rhfleet.org. First thing we need is a hair dryer. Okay. We've also got a empty roll of toilet paper a almost empty roll of toilet paper. We've got a straw, ping pong balls, um, we've got a stick, a dowel kind of thing, um, we've got a balloon, a ball here, so all kinds of cool stuff. All right, thanks Brandon. Absolutely. So first we're going to talk about what the Bernoulli principle tells us. So Bernoulli says the faster air flows over a surface, the less air is pushed on the surface, which means its pressure is lower. So, higher speed, lower pressure. That's pretty much all you need to know about Bernoulli. Got it. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so all right, we've, we've got, got our it. straw here. Mm -hmm. I will give you this. Oh, thank you. I'll have one. You ready? Here we are, levitation. <sighs> all right. Okay. You okay? I'm good now. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that's basically what's happening here, okay? For Newley's principle, we're going to do some experiments just like that with our hair dryer here. All right. So we are going to turn the hair dryer to its cool setting, if it has one. Turn it on and point it at the ceiling. Now we've got our ping pong ball here, and we're going to place the ping pong ball right into the airstream. Just like that. And look at that. All right. Now what happens if I tilt the hair dryer. Ah! Very cool. Let's see, maybe we can get our balloon here. Let's kind of put that in the airstream. Nice! Look at that. Oh, let's see. So just a regular hair dryer, we can do this kind of stuff at home. Very, very there cool. There it is. Can we put another ping pong ball in there? Let's you think it'll work? All right, let me try it. Here we go. Oh! oh almost. You can't get too many things in the airstream, obviously, it won't hold up. <laughs> that was cool. All right, so let's talk about what's going on here, okay? Oh, very nice. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's put that in there. Let's put that back in there. So, if you try pulling it out, ah, you can actually feel there's a force that wants it to stay in that airstream. It's actually getting pulled back in. And that's what we were talking about, Bernoulli's principle. Exactly. Different air pressures right here. you got kind of a column going on here. So we've got gravity pulling down on the ball. The airstream is pushing up on the ball, so that's what keeps it right here in, in the middle, up and down. Left and right, if you kind of turn it left and right, why doesn't it fall out of the airstream here? Well, it turns out that difference in pressure, we've got air molecules on the outside, these are actually at a higher pressure than the air molecules in the stream here. So the differential between the high pressure and the low pressure kind of keeps it forced in there like she was talking about. You can't move it out very easily. And you can actually tilt it and keep it right in that column. That's the whole way Bernoulli's principle works. Yep, so high speed, low pressure in the center. Very cool. This is the same thing that happens when you have an airplane taking off. Different kind of uh, way that it looks, but it's the same principle. You've got air going along the bottom of the, uh, of the wing of the airplane. That's at a different pressure than the air on top of the wing. You create that lift, keeps it nice and stable, and you go right on up. Same thing. Awesome. So let's see. What else can we do with this? All right. Well, let's take this out. Let's Ooh, try one. this one. Ooh, this one's much. Look at that. It's not going as high, but it's still staying. Yep. So Bernoulli's still working here. So we can try, I'm going to try and toss it in there. Ah, caught it. Nice. Beautiful. Whee, here we go all the way around. Very nice. So let's take a look at this one. I want to show you something right. that we were doing before. This one's pretty cool. We're going to do that. Okay, we got that. Now we've got our empty toilet poker, to toilet. Now we've got our empty toilet roll container here. I'm going to put it right in the center and... Woo! Look at that. Let's do that one again. Let's put it right in the airstream. And look at that. So when we put this into the airstream, all of that air that's coming out of the hot blower right now is really, really going fast on the inside here. It's kind of compressing all of those air molecules and really going at a very fast rate through here. And you can kind of see that by going right through. 
Whoa! Oh, I almost caught it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So it's a lot of fun to play with at home. You can do all different kinds of things, kind of test it out, experiment, put different kinds of objects into the Airstream and just see what you come up with. See what happens if you interrupt the Airstream like that. Doesn't work. And now for our grand finale. There we go. <laughs> Woo! So this one's lots of fun to do at home. As long as you don't have to clean it up. <laughs> you look nice. Thank you so much. I think that looks awesome. All right. So those are just a few of the experiments you can do involving Bernoulli's principle. Maybe you can think of some other ones at home. That's right. So thanks for watching this month's experiment. And remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.